Hi boys and girls, this is your school counselor, Ms. Delgado, and I'm here today to read you a story. I hope you like it. Today's book is titled, Smoking Stinks, written by Kim Gosselin and illustrated by Tom Butler. The bell rang just as Maddie shoved her books into her cubby and plopped down in her seat. Her friend Alex read the day's announcements. Maddie didn't seem to hear a word. Mr. Jenkins handed out the class's special assignment reminder. Their health reports were due by Friday. Maddie hadn't even started. She was too worried about her Grandpa Norman. Grandpa Norman had a bad cough. His cough seemed to be getting worse lately. The awful hacking noise coming from Grandpa Norman's bedroom woke Maddie up nearly every night now. On top of everything else, Maddie's allergies were bugging her again. Grandpa Norman's cigarette smoking always seemed to make her allergies worse. Maddie grabbed a tissue from the space under her desk and wiped her dribbling nose. Smoking stinks, she shouted aloud. Maddie looked up sheepishly. Fifty-two enormous round eyes in various shades of brown, blue, and green stared straight through her. Do you have something you'd like to share with the class, Miss Madeline? Mr. Jenkins asked, as only he could. I'm sorry, Maddie apologized, her face turning redder than her strawberry blonde hair. I thought you mentioned something about smoking, Mr. Jenkins inquired. Would you care to share the topic of your health report with the class now? Health report? Maddie's heart pounded fiercely. Oh yeah, she bounced back. My health report's going to be, um, about smoking. Great topic, said Mr. Jenkins. I'm sure the whole class would agree with you that smoking indeed stinks. The giggles subsided as Maddie sank deeper and deeper into her chair. She couldn't wait until the school day was over, and yet it had only just begun. Later, Maddie tried to concentrate on her new spelling words. She doodled clouds of smoke in the margins of her notebook paper and wrapped a loose curl around her forefinger. Finally, it was time for lunch. Maddie grabbed her lunch bag and headed toward the cafeteria. Her friend, Alex, caught up with her just as the rest of the class rounded the hall corner. Hey, Maddie, my health report's on smoking too, he announced. Let's ask Mr. Jenkins if we can work together. Are you sure you wouldn't be too embarrassed? She asked accusingly. Nah, he replied, tearing into his bag of chips. Besides, smoking does stink in more ways than one. What do you mean, she asked, sitting down next to him. Well, my mom smokes too, Alex said, munching on a potato chip. Our whole house stinks like a chimney. Plus, I've got asthma. Breathing in someone else's smoke usually makes it even worse. Yeah, it bothers my allergies too, Maddie said. Smoking stinks, she said again while taking a big bite out of the apple from her lunch bag. After lunch, Maddie and Alex talked to Mr. Jenkins about working together on their health report. Mr. Jenkins thought it was a great idea. He even suggested they find a guest speaker to come in and talk to the class with them. That night, Alex and Maddie worked on their health report at Grandpa Norman and Maddie's kitchen table. They asked Grandpa Norman a million questions about smoking. Maddie and Alex took turns scribbling down notes in their spiral binders while listening to Grandpa Norman speak. 
Why did you ever start smoking? asked Alex. Because I thought it was cool, he answered, disgusted with his dirty ashtray sitting on the table. I was 15 at the time. All my friends were smoking and I just wanted to be like them. Why don't you quit? asked Maddie simply. Oh, Maddie, Grandpa said, I've tried so many times. You see, it's not so easy to quit. Smoking is an addiction because tobacco has nicotine in it. Maddie gulped. What's nicotine? Grandpa Norman stared at Maddie and Alex hard. He looked straight into their eyes, hesitating only to stop and catch his breath. Nicotine is poison, he said, lightly pounding his fist on the kitchen table. It's a very powerful drug. Wow, gasped Alex. A drug? No wonder my mom said smoking cigarettes was a lot like taking drugs. She told me her brain knows smoking's bad for her but her body feels like she really needs it. That's exactly right, Grandpa Norman said, struggling to get up and out of his chair. An addiction means that it's hard to stop. And it doesn't matter if you smoke cigars, a pipe, cigarettes, or use chewing or spit tobacco. The addiction is the same. The smartest thing you kids can do is to never start. Maddie and Alex sat glued to their seats. Neither one of them said a word. They thought about the many times they had seen some of the older kids hanging around the high school. A lot of them smoked cigarettes or chewed tobacco like Grandpa Norman mentioned. Maddie especially hated it when they spit their gross tobacco juice out on the sidewalk. Grandpa Norman went to tell Maddie and Alex about the many different diseases smoking could cause. He rattled off words Maddie and Alex could hardly even say. Words like bronchitis and emphysema. And then, of course, he reminded them about things they already knew about. Things like heart disease and cancer. Maddie had heard the word emphysema before. She heard Grandpa Norman talking to Dr. Parkin about it on the phone. She wondered if emphysema was what made Grandpa Norman cough so much. Did emphysema make it hard for him to even breathe? Later, after Alex had gone home, Grandpa Norman tucked Maddie into bed. She saw the ugly brown stains on his fingers from the tobacco in his cigarettes and smelled the smoke in his favorite flannel nightgown. Maddie understood things better now. She understood that Grandpa Norman was probably addicted to nicotine. Even so, she loved him with all her heart. Maddie asked Grandpa Norman if he would be a guest speaker for her health report on Friday. He said he'd be glad to especially if he could help stop kids from making some of the same mistakes that he had. He even promised to ask Dr. Parkin to come along. Dr. Parkin could be a guest speaker too. The rest of the week, Maddie and Alex worked hard at school on their health report. Dr. Parkin let them borrow a giant poster. It showed a picture of two lungs. One of them was healthy and pink, the way lungs should be but the other lung was brown and sick looking from smoking. Smoking stinks, thought Maddie and Alex as they hung the poster up on the classroom wall. Finally, it was Friday. Maddie and Alex shared their health report on smoking with Mr. Jenkins and the whole class. Dr. Parkin stood in front of the room and told the kids how smoking caused many, many people to get sick. A lot of people get sick and even die every day from smoking-related diseases, Dr. Parkin said sadly. Next, Dr. Parkin talked about passive or secondhand smoke. 
breathing in the smoke of someone's burning cigar or cigarette. He said, secondhand smoke is bad for anybody to breathe, but it could be much worse for kids who are living with allergies or asthma. Gertie in the third row raised her right hand. I have asthma, she said. You mean, if I breathe in someone else's smoke, my asthma might get worse? That's possible, answered Dr. Parkin, while Alex and Maddie nodded in agreement. Smoke of any kind can help trigger an asthma episode. What about spit tobacco? Asked the tall, skinny kid with glasses. I see a lot of baseball players using it, so it must be safe, right? Wrong, answered Dr. Parkin firmly. Chewing or spit tobacco can lead to many of the same problems other tobacco causes, or even start new ones. Just remember, kids, there's no safe tobacco. Next, it was Grandpa Norman's turn to speak. First, he did something the kids thought was pretty weird. Grandpa Norman passed around his favorite flannel nightshirt for all of them to smell. Gross, said Gertie, taking in a big whiff. Smoking stinks. Grandpa Norman nodded and went on to tell the kids about his experiences with smoking. When I was a teenager, he said, nobody seemed to know how bad smoking was. Now we all know differently. There's nothing good about smoking, Grandpa Norman said, sitting down to catch his breath. Have you ever tried to quit? Asked another girl in the back of the room. I'm always trying to quit, he said. Nobody wants to get sick, Grandpa Norman added, pointing to Dr. Parkin's lung poster. Nobody wants to wake up coughing every night. And believe me, it's real scary when you don't know if you'll be able to catch another breath or not. Grandpa Norman told the class that sometimes, with a lot of help from their doctor, family, and friends, people were able to quit smoking. It takes a lot of courage and support, Grandpa Norman said, glancing at Dr. Parkin and Maddie. As of today, I've smoked my last cigarette. Smoking's not as awesome as some of those older kids think, Alex shouted defiantly. Smoking stinks, blurted out Maddie in her loudest, biggest voice ever. This time, nobody giggled. Instead, the whole class stood up and cheered. Smoking stinks, they all yelled together, even Mr. Jenkins. The End Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned a lot of reasons why smoking is a bad idea, and I hope you make good choices in your life. I had fun reading to you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.